Hello, I'm going to really quickly show you how to make a map using only the paintbrush tool. I'm also going to show you how you can use the image paintbrush tool as well. First, we're going to come over to images. We're going to change that to uncategorized. That way we have a smaller list and it's easier to look at. We could just right click and create a new one or click the green add item button down there, but we're going to do it this other way. We're going to come up to assets. Go over to images. Then we're going to type in the search bar, SHO, hit enter to search. That's going to come up with the Shock Bolt Game Master's Art Kit. This is pre installed with Fantasy Grounds. We're going to come in here to backgrounds. We're going to grab this cave floor. We're going to drag it over. It's going to create a new image record. You can see it right there cave floor. We can name this whatever we want. We'll just call this Cavern Number One. Zoom in a little bit. We got a nice cave floor image. We can now come over to the paint tool. Let's make this even bigger for you. And draw a cave. Feel free to draw whatever you like, however you want this cave to look, or however your adventure needs it to be. Maybe we have an entrance down there. We'll come up. And there's like a little thing there. Let me come up and maybe there's another entrance there. And boom, there's a there's a nice big open cavern. Maybe we have um some type of like wall here like that. And a uh and another one over here just to make it a little more Interesting and boom. Now we're going to come over to line of sight. It's the little brick wall icon. We're going to click this really cool button called duplicate paint layer as walls. When we click on that, it will instantly change all of that paint that you just put down into a wall. Line of sight is now uh, set up for you. We can come over here. We can enable line of sight. Uh, we're not going to enable player view, um, but we can come over here, grab the combat tracker, drag in a couple of players, uh, and then let's throw in a couple of goblins maybe down here and maybe up here. And now you'll see line of sight is set up how you would expect. That's how to make the simplest possible map you could make took us only a few seconds and we've got a pretty passable cave map it also does work in the new 3d view as well i'm going to show you how to make a little bit nicer version of this it's going to take us just a little bit more time but not much so first we're going to close down this map and we're going to come over here to assets open it up fantasy grounds remembers what your last search was and what you last had open, which is really helpful for us. Let's just shrink the screen down over here and just move it right there. I'm going to grab another cave floor. It's going to make a new version. Zoom in a little bit. Maybe move it right here. We'll come over to the paintbrush once again. And instead of being on paint, we're going to come down to image paint. You can now put an image right here and paint with that image. We're going to come back. A few steps, and we're going to find um, the Shock Bolt Game Master's Art Kit Tiles. Uh, but we want Tiles Cave right here. Should open up all of these. I think we'll first start with this one, which is uh, Cave Wall Thin Brush. Brushes are what we call uh, images designed to paint with. Uh, you'll see right here. If we drag this in, and you can see it's right there. Uh, its size is set to, to 1. We're just going to leave it how it is. We can come over here, and we can start painting. And as you'll see, right away, we're building a much nicer looking cave. Come up there. And we'll come up and we'll dip down a little bit and then come back up and boom. 
We can also use some of these other brushes. We could use uh, this kind of fatter side cave wall. Maybe we want um, to make a second cavern that's out here. We could draw that like that. And you'll see that that's kind of how those look. We'll just delete that. Now that we've got our cave painted, we're going to once again come over to line of sight, little brick wall, click duplicate paint layers as walls. And voila, you've got a cave, enable line of sight, grab our combat tracker, throw in our characters again, and we'll stash some goblins up here. And you've now got a pretty nice little cave set up. Walk around, you can see them. Um, it's black and white because we don't have any lights. You could add lighting if you want. And there we go. Once again, as always, also works in the 3D views. And that's how you very quickly paint out a map for your encounters in Fantasy Grounds. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, ring that bell as well to stay notified for all things Fantasy Grounds. If you want to learn more, you can go to fantasygrounds.com.